Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the success of the international tournament of the King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud Cup. His Highness noted that this participation affirms the Bahraini presence in various international races, expressing pride in participating in the tournament. His Highness was keen to participate in the early morning in order to contribute to the success of this international event, which made Saudi Arabia the focus of the world in light of the large number of participants. He also noted that the race witnessed a strong competition, which is a clear sign that the participation came from various equestrians with strong capabilities. His Highness noted that the stages of the race were distinctive and carried the aesthetics of Saudi Arabia, especially Al Ula Governorate. He then praised the organization of the tournament, which proved the strong cooperation between the Special Saudi Equestrian Federation and the International Endurance Federation, and affirmed that it's the first of many more international tournaments. His Highness met with the UAE's Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and congratulated him on the win of the three UAE equestrians the top three ranks, asserting that the considers a UAE victory a victory for Bahrain. He also met with the governor of Medina al munawwara His, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, where he discussed the international tournament and expressed admiration in the level of the organization it witnessed. He praised the high level of the participants, wishing them further success. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, observed the tournament and praised the race's level of organization. He expressed happiness in the success of the tournament and praised the competencies of the Saudi Equestrian Federation capabilities and its ability to host various international tournaments. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa is currently taking part in the international tournament of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud Cup. The race will be held in Saudi Arabia's Al Ula Governorate under the supervision of the Saudi Equestrian Federation. His Highness followed on the veterinary examination held at the Endurance Village, along with the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and President of the Royal Federation of Equestrian and Endurance Racing, and Vice President. President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser underscored the keen interest of the two kingdoms to bolster bilateral relations in all fields and praise the support these relations receive from both countries' leaders. He expressed his appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support, which is an incentive for him and all the participants. His Highness affirmed his readiness to take part in the race, noting the broad international participation and the fierce competition it will create among the riders.
On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Vice Chairman of the Supreme Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Horse Racing Festival as part of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Cup at Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in Sakhir. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa also attended the race. His Highness Sheikh Isa highlighted His Majesty's long-standing commitment to promoting equestrian sports among Bahrain's youth, stressing that the kingdom's equestrian tradition reflects its Arab and national heritage. His Highness also highlighted His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's support towards equestrian sports in the kingdom, which continue to strongly grow each year. His Highness Sheikh Isa noted the important role of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, chaired by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa bin Salman, in planning the racing season, which includes world-class horse racing events taking place throughout the year. His Highness Sheikh Isa noted that Bahrain continues to garner international recognition as a key supporter of equestrian culture and emphasized the kingdom's commitment to reinforcing its reputation as an international center of equestrian sports. His Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as a number of officials, diplomats, and spectators.
At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Isa congratulated the winners and presented the Oaks Al Bahrain Cup to Abdullah Fawzi Nas, the Crown Prince Cup for Arabian Horses to Yusuf Tahir, the Crown Prince's Cup for Local Produce to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Isa then received from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa the Higher Committee Cup and the Crown Prince's Cup for Imported Horses. It was a fairly decisive win. He, he took to the uh, the front f fairly far down the course. He did, um, and uh, all thanks to the jockey. And this race was for Bahraini apprentice jockeys, and it's nice for them to, or it's nice for us to be able to showcase them on a day like this. And of course, you have Alan Smith, the trainer, here beside you. Alan, congratulations to you as well, and nice, nice way to start the afternoon. Yeah, thanks very much, David. The so bit continues. <laughs> yeah, talking about continuing, Your Highness. What about the, the rest of the afternoon? There's still a lot of racing to go. Yes, a lot of racing, uh, and two uh, in the last for me. Uh, obviously, with Shogun, um, who was the title holder from last year, but he'll be given a lot of competition from Thorkel Star. Well, what about racing back home in the states? Are you a big fan? I am. You know, it's a it's a it's a big endeavor. I come from California. In fact, my brother works at Santa Anita, which is one of the great tracks on the West Coast. Right. It's a seasonal uh, sport, as it is here in the United States, and always an enjoyable day out at the track with uh, with the family. So we do enjoy on occasion to go out. That's what I always say about here on a Friday afternoon. It's a very enjoyable Friday afternoon. It comes as quite a surprise, I think, to a lot of people when they come in here and see the, lay the layout and so much wonderful green grass. I think that's right. And it's not just the green grass, but actually the view one gets from right. the stadium and from the, the stands, the grandstand, out over the lake with the, the, the birds and the, and the beautiful landscape here at the race. I, I, would, I would certainly recommend it to anyone living in Bahrain a day at the races. You've got a big smile on your face and a, a great uh, race, a very decisive win. It has been a decisive win. She's a nice filly. Uh, you know, she's a four-year-old, uh, not a lot of mileage on her. This is only her second run this year, and uh, she's done well. I bred her myself. Uh, she's now trained by Hisham Al-Haddad. Right. He's the official no trainer, and, uh, but obviously, since I've bred her, you know, it makes me very proud. And it, it was a great uh, cheer as the horse came into the enclosure there from, from the, uh, the people in the stands there. Obviously, a very popular winner. Yes, I think uh, a lot of the spectators uh, were cheering for her because, well, she showed some class in her previous races, so they were cheering for her for sure. I say uh, only the second time out, and uh, to win on a big occasion like this, it uh, must uh, add to the sense of satisfaction. Absolutely, absolutely. This was always a target, so there was no rush to get her out uh, too many times before today. Congratulations. You, you seem to switch up a, a gear just coming towards the end. You were down in the middle of the field. Uh, the pace was strong, uh, it's the first time over 2000, so I had to save his energy. But uh, it was an amazing performance when I asked him to quick and I, wow, he just took off. Uh, I rode him last year, but he's definitely improved with age and, uh, and he, was, he was by far the best horse in the race. It certainly looked at a, a fantastic finish. Uh, what about racing out here in Bahrain? You are fairly much a regular, at least once or twice a year. I do, yes. Uh, twice or three times. I think it's the, one of the best turf tracks in the Middle East. Uh, the people are very welcoming. Uh, I have a lot of success as well. I really enjoy it. Uh, I get a chance to see the country. I even went to the Grand Prix last year. So, and uh, everybody's so hospitable and nice. And uh, uh, I really enjoy coming and the racing is good. And let me long continue. And when we had the race earlier on for the apprentice jockeys, what would be your best advice to, to young jockeys or young people considering a career in horse racing? Well, I'm uh, 31 years professional and uh, even in my age, you never stop learning. Uh, always try to improve yourself, uh, hard work, dedication. And first of all, you should have the lo love of the horse. I think that's the most important. If you really love horses and love racing, I think that's uh, a good way to start.